Hello to all my queers and dears who may or may not be here, and welcome back to the stream where we're playing nonviolent games, games that reward the player for intellectual and or emotional engagement, rather than for combat or other forms of violent gameplay loops. We're back with Sam and Max today, um, and actually I may be doing another stream later, because Life is Strange Double Exposure, uh, chapters 1 and 2, uh, released for early access, so, um, and I definitely don't want to get spoiled on those, uh, so I want to, definitely want to, um, play them as soon as possible, so, yeah, um, so you might get a couple of streams today. Uh, but for now, let's get started on this. No, we should really get going. Plus, it smells in there. Be careful around this banana peel, Max. What do you think I am, Sam? A rookie? I believe I know how to... Whoop! You'd think the one with future vision would have seen that coming. This goes deep into the fiery bowels of America's filthiest city. You've been listening to my... Hello, Jerry. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, it's great to see you. Oh, it's great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I can make out part of the name of the store this came from, but no address. I'm looking great. Thanks. I appreciate that. Success! A new destination has been revealed on your map. Never gonna find skunk ape, Sam. All these streets look the same. Shut up, Max. They're completely different streets. It's mole men. Generals can copy a sweating mole men. Uh, spoiler warning, Harry. Sheesh. Smash your cell phone. That's how he controls you. It's mole men. Generals can copy a sweating. All clues lead here, but no sign of skunk ape. Huh. New York's lackadaisical business hours win again. But Skunk Ape will be back any second, little buddy. We better be ready for him. What are we gonna do once he shows up? I don't know yet.
Just think, Max. One of these innocent-looking toys may hold the key to unlocking another terrifying psychic power. I bet it's a giraffe. I don't trust anything with a longer neck than mine. It's locked. Skunk is either waiting for this place to open, or coming back with his goose to bust the door down. Bob's Toys's. The extra S is for, sorry about the misspelled sign. In the future, all these toys are still here, unbought and unloved. That's kind of sad. It's their own fault for not being more fun. It's not a welfare state, Sam. <laughs> so you have found me at last, freelance colleagues. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you have found me at last, freelance police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it is. It's great. to full power yes destroy the city look familiar i certainly hope that you are paying attention my friend because our story seems to have hurtled to its inevitable conclusion no longer can you blindly mash buttons to unleash a torrent of irreverent banter and comic mischief now you are all that stands in the way of the total annihilation of the planet Earth. The villain has made his move. The players are yours to command. Only you can return General Skunkape to the penal zone. <laughs> Sam and Max, don't tell me Skunkape wants you guys to be his love slaves too. You'd be surprised just how many fetishes there are that involve Sam and me. What are you doing locked in here, Stinky? I've got no idea. I assumed it was Grandpa Stinky's fault. How is this Grandpa Stinky's fault? He's been going on and on about Skunkabe ever since he landed. That's the kind of gentleman you should get involved with. He's got a future. Ugh. Why aren't you out there on your phone? Yeah, isn't Skunk Ape your boyfriend? You, he wishes. He is so not my type. You only have to date an evil gorilla once to learn never to make that mistake again. Oh, we've all been there, girlfriend. Did you lose yourself? Ugh, hang on a second. I am your love monkey. <laughs> yes, hi, Skankabe. I see you. That's very clever been texting me non-stop. I tried to throw the phone away just to get away from it. Did you call for help on your fancy futuristic phone? I already tried that when you guys were knocked out. There's no signal off this spaceship. I think you're being too hard on Skunk Ape. He's just misunderstood. Oh yeah? Uh, did I misunderstand this picture he sent me? Good heavens! I think I should put on some clothes now. Well, Skunkape's got a lot of good points, too. Name one. He's got his own spaceship. I noticed. That may impress you boys, but... The keys to your cage, so he could let you out. But then she wouldn't be able to talk to us anymore. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> General Skunkape! All set, Max. Now we just got to get out of this cage so we can wrap this case up once and for all.
How am I doing? Well done, freelance police. I've been going through a lot, actually. But I'm alright. Looking for these? Uh oh. Your future viewer has proven to be most enlightening. <laughs> Here, use it to witness how I am going to destroy you. So, what was that plan again? I believe you planned to turn on the dimensional destabilizer, yes? Luckily, I have my own. But I still got the holy beacon. Exactly. Oh dear. Can you believe that guy? Skunk Ape knew what we were going to do the whole time. He just wanted to rub our noses in the penal zone, so to speak. I don't like being in a penal zone, Sam. You're not supposed to, Max. It's a horrible plane of non-existence forever trapped between reality and unreality. Yeah, that, and also that beeping noise is really getting on my nerves. Turn around, Max. Skunk Ape strapped an antimatter bomb on your back while we were out cold. Get rid of it! Jeez, what a jerk! You gotta get out of here, Max. Pronto! Just been working like a lot, a lot, a lot, and really kind of burned out. Uh, a lot of big, complicated things going on that I've been working on. Some good, some mixed. I mean, things are exciting, but just exhausting. So, that's. If I know my high tech futuristic explosive devices, this is an antimatter bomb that will destroy the entire penal zone and anyone inside it. And it's gonna go off at any second. Really, Sam? Any second? Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but still best not to dawdle. to get rid of that skunk ape jerk once and for all. But if he's the big bad guy, what will we do after we beat him? Well, we could let him out every few weeks and beat him up some more. Specifically, there's a lot of stuff going on with this school I attended. Uh, Goddard, which was killed by its board and president, and I'm trying to secure some kind of legacy for it uh, beyond its death and it's a complicated thing and a lot of work is being sure done those psychic powers aren't a danger to the people you work on or around max whenever i use them it feels like somebody's microwaving a radar gun near a high tension wire in my skull it's a good thing neither of us is legally morally or ethically allowed to reproduce <laughs> are you sure that future vision of yours works you're supposed to be winning maybe they're just rose tinted future vision glasses don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anything bad or overly deadly happen to you. You're my best friend, Sam. I know you'd take a bullet for me. Well, I'd at least be very rude to the guy who shot you. Keep watching the skies, Max. I'll shoot if they try anything funny. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, I'm just kind of burned out. Gotcha! Welcome back, sirs. Uh, what just happened? I detected a spike in antimatter radiation, so I locked onto the signal from your homing beacon and reversed the polarity of the dimensional stabilization field to intercept... Yeah, yeah, just tell us how we can get back at Skunk Ape for crimes against the freelance police and humanity. I say let's cover him in candy bar wrappers and feed him to starving raccoons! Failed to trap him in the penal zone? I wouldn't say failed exactly. Uh, maybe underperformed. 
And we blew up a fuel zone with an antimatter bomb. Oh, dear. How can I help, Sam and Max? Dr. Mama Bosco has been granted the fullest security clearance possible for a dead citizen, Mr. President. Sounds like you're tired of being a ghost. Oh, it's not all bad. I'm getting better at this, but I'll be glad when I finish my dimensional dist- These are the things that we- In case anyone was curious- Uh, don't do that already. Can't we just use that destabilizer thing to open up another gateway? Not now that the penal zone has been destroyed. How are we going to stop Skunk Ape now? With the penal zone destroyed, we have no way to return him to prison. Unless you could make another penal zone somewhere else. I smell a convoluted plan coming on. With a side order of hand-waving technical nonsense. Extra crispy. Before I made the destabilizer, I was working on a dimensional rift generator. It doesn't open a gateway to another dimension. It actually creates another dimension. Only problem is, you'll have to find a nexus of ley lines somewhere for it to work. A place where the border between reality and nonsense has broken down. There happens to be one of those in the city, ma'am. It's at 1313 Straight Street. That address sounds familiar. That's our building. Oh. Whoops. Sorry, but, uh, yeah, just use the asterisk for, uh, your message. Um. How does this rift generator work? You just plug it in and press the pedal. After that, it works just like the destabilizer. If Skunkape is wearing that homing beacon, he'll get pulled into the new dimension. The trick is finding enough power for it. Do you have any more of those power cores lying around? No, I never did get that back. But even so, it would have taken a hundred of those things to give enough power to a dimensional rift generator. It's over there, with the other inventions that are a deadly radiation hazard. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to hear that. Can't we just use that destabilizer thing to open up another gateway? Not now that the penal zone has been destroyed. You'll have to use Mama Bosco's rift generator to create a new penal zone. So you're suggesting we trap Skunk Ape in our own building? Well, kind of. You'd actually be turning your building into an alternate dimension, so it won't really exist anymore. I'm afraid it's the only way, sirs. Yeah, on the plus side, if it doesn't exist, think of how much money we'll save on rent. We don't pay rent, Max. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. Yeah, so this is the uh, relatively recently released uh, remastered uh, uh, version of the Devil's Playhouse. And, uh, yeah, with your rift generator, Mama it looks Bosco. really good. Just make sure you don't turn it on until you've got that homing beacon on General Skunkapi. Civil stuff is okay. The on our street, there's a good chance you're gonna get blown up. You should understand that by now, Sam. How is 
Turns out my whole world. Good thing Sybil packed all her junk into these boxes for safekeeping. There we go. Oh, wait a second. Disaster scenarios that always end up with you eating me, Max. It's getting annoying. If you don't like it, then stop looking so damn tasty. It's a good thing Sybil packed all her junk. So we know that um, Mole Man Sweat is uh, a incredible fuel source. So, maybe that's what we end up using? Oh. Can I keep it down? down? We're trying, trying to, to save the planet, planet here. Intruders! They've come to defile the boy locks! Kill them! No, wait, brother! Look! It is the dog and rabbit! Justice prophesied on tablet 8, verse 32. Uh, excuse me, I'm pretty sure you mean tablet 6, verse 24. Heretic! Looks like another in a long line of wacky cults, Max. Where is so many prophecies, we should start charging royalties. You try and entertain the other wing nuts while I find a way to power this thing up. Look at Max. I've never been that good with hieroglyphics, but it looks like this tablet is all about us. Ooh, what does it say about me? Let's see. You're going to fight a monkey, get a bunch of magic weapons, merge with the collective unconsciousness to become one with infinity, and then destroy the universe. Are you sure you're not reading it backwards? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, you're about to wrestle a crocodile, and I'm going to turn into an owl. I can hardly wait! I'm tired, I'm tired of trying to read, read this thing. thing. Oh. <laughs> That's the most evil-looking toy chest I've ever seen. No doubt it would unleash all kinds of horrors if we ever open it. I'll get a crowbar! And I'll scrounge up some blasting caps. No! You mustn't open it! That would give General Skuntape unimaginable power to destroy us all! They're right, pal. We'd better get rid of Skuntape first. Who are you guys? We are the Boxes, the last keepers of the true way. Well, our brothers have succumbed to the siren song of secular America with its vassal rich tunnels and specialty coffees. Only we remain to act as guardians of the box. Before it sounded like you were expecting to see Max and me. Yes, you're coming with foretold in the sacred tablets and scrolls. And yea, the devil bunny, knowing not his true purpose, would unlock the mysteries of the toy box. Hey, Sam, you didn't want to see. Do you know what that means, Obadiah? It's time for the apocalypse! 
I gotta turn on this machine to stop a gorilla. Down the tunnel, first door to your right. No, I literally have to stop a gorilla. Oh, we know little of your modern inventions. The toy box provides all we need. What's that toy box got to do with Max? He must be blessed with the gift! And with so great power to the one who can use its contents! And don't forget about the apocalypse! You guys seem awfully chipper about the end times. It's just nice to be proven right for once. Yeah, suck on that, Barry Diggory! Who's wearing a stupid-looking robe now? Is there anything in your scriptures about how we can defeat Skunk Ape? Just that the box will show you the way. And then the devil bunny and his chubby sidekick, hey, broke down the wall and slew the betrayer of mole men. What's with the creepy toy box? It is everything and nothing. The power infinite. Oh, well that makes sense. We have guarded and worshipped it from behind the shadowy veil of faith for generations. He loves the box so much, we've prepared a song about it. <coughs> we love the toy box, cause it's really great. Man, the musical numbers have really gone downhill since we've been on break. Some of us had grown to believe it was just an allegory. I'm looking at you, Jemadiah. But the veil has been lifted! There it is, before us, just as the tablets foretold! What's inside that toy box anyway? No one knows. No one has seen it for thousands of years. There are those who believe it contains... It's in Spotify. Toys. I don't know. Oh, right. Like the creator of all things is really some fanciful box in the sky filled with magical toys. You'll have to excuse Obadiah. He's a fundamentalist. You guys stay crazy. Amen! That's the most evil looking, no doubt. I got a crowbar! They're right. The workers left some of the cable exposed when they were busy not fixing the power in this dump. That won't work. It's worth, worth a shot. shot. Hey, hey Max, Max want to come here and ground me? You're pushing 40 in dog years. You're not a very good detective, and it looks like you put on weight. Thanks. That should, should do it. it. That's, That's the most no doubt it is. Oh. Should be enough power. I'm so sorry. Ah. I need to get this homing beacon on the skunk ape, or else I'll get sucked in again. Doing that twice in one day would just be humiliating. Choke reminded me of this weekend when my son was playing a Star Wars game. He asked me how do I put this guy down. That's easy telling me he's ugly. There is unfortunately a little bit of fat phobia with Sam, but oh well. Very 
Or fat shaming, at least. My queen. Not only did I defeat Sam and Max, but I took care of the Peel Zone in one stroke. Unfortunate word choice. No, 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 I, I know. No, I know, I know. And, and yeah, I like it's just a little bit of, uh, you know. Thanks, Brain. Now we just need a way to get this homing beacon on Skunk Ape's back without his noticing. I can't remember the name of my elementary school. supposed to stop Skunk Ape now. I don't know. Something about a homing beacon, wasn't it? Keep it together, Brain. Okay. Bye now, Grandma. Yeah, he's not doing so well. It's too bad Skunk Ape decided to go into galaxy domination. He's got a real life for interior decorating. I'm sorry. You'll love to regret betraying us, Queen Stinky. Soon you'll be serving time instead of serving bad food in the penal zone. You ought to know that, Trigger General Sikankape, Sam and Max. When he's done, the world will never have to listen to your idiotic nonsense ever again. This performance, Stinky. I think Skunk Ape believed it. Oh, right. Performance. Something. Thanks, Stinky. Hey, Brain, can you give us a hand here? Maybe he cause us some get stylish distraction? I grow weak, jab and tracks, and I fear my time in this warp is drawing to a close. But if I can prevent but one villain from massaging another appointment book, my sacrifice is but a small, small thing to pay. Show some respect for this noble creature's sacrifice. Could you hurry it up, please? Turn up buttons, Sam and Max. Turn up buttons till we meet again with the flag. Ah, ah. Emergency. Engine failure. Emergency. No! Not in my moment of triumph! Sam and Max must somehow be responsible for this. I must find them and destroy them! Please, Sam and Max, but once again, I am too strong, and you have only seconds before. Wait, it can't be. The Devil's Toy Box? Devil's Toy Box? 
That's right, Jack. And it's ours. Yeah, go find your own toys. Perfect. You have led me right to the greatest prize of all. Soon your bothersome dimensional rift will close. And I will take the toy box and the one who can control it. Yes. Get something quick, Sam. I like the way he's undressing me with his eyes. Skycape, you're under arrest. <laughs> under arrest by an Earth dog and his pitiful inventions? I have more strength in one hand than in all the inventions of your planet's greatest scientists. So we can hurry to give up now, when I'm so close to having all of the toys. Nonsense. <laughs> This case is over. I'm getting, getting a gun, gun with more gorilla stopping power. I don't need to shoot me, buddy. It's, it's enough that they know I have a gun. gun. I'm tired of trying to read this thing. I'll wait for the movie. Contractor to fix that hole in our basement once this sudden leading adventure has come to its inevitably earth shattering conclusion. You guys stay crazy. Alright, you have a great day too. Thanks for stopping by. Fitting conclusion. But this is not the end. Oh no, but merely a beginning. The overture, if you will, of a five part symphony of mayhem that will blow your ever loving mind. What 
What is this mysterious toy box with its bizarre connection to Max? Is General Skunkarpe truly defeated? Will Sam ever find true love? Will Max be able to control his emerging past? Or are his ominous visions of the future a sign of tragedy to come? I'll see you in the coming chapters to answer all of these questions and more. But for now, I leave you with this chilling conclusion. Ouch! Suck right through three floors of the septic tank. There goes our security deposit. I wonder if our building is zoned to act as an interdimensional prison. Pam, what are they looking at? Helpings of Herodotus on base with Marshall Stacks and a wall walk pedal. Cool. All right, so that's great. And then, yeah, later today I will start playing Life is Strange Double Exposure, which I'm really excited to to get started on. Um, Just gonna look for who we might raid. Thanks so much to everyone who was and wasn't here. Extra special thanks to Jerry for stopping by and chatting with me. And I will see you all later.